I'm Brandon, a sophomore who debates at the University of Michigan. As a member of the team, we're excited to be some of Online Debate's first movers. Our demo debate's are already live, and I believe we're the first camp to release a CGR starter pack. If you've paid the deposit, you should already be able to see it. It's looking great. So we're transmitting you a student's perspective about how the demo debate went. If you want a TLDR, it's strange, new, but the basic parts of the debate, being able to flow, cross X, coordinate prep, etc., seem to function smoothly. For a very first attempt, it went well. Tech requirements. Online debate necessitates a headset. In this debate, everyone except Raphael wore a headset. You hear the difference. F-35 sales drive reactive Chinese arms races cause nuclear war via strike pressures. That is Yangko and Tan. The two and are effectively neglected all impact calculus. As I know, Japanese arms race outweighs the full risk of an alliance collapse. One is the unique proximity of arsenals. China has interest in Central Asia. They're a geographically much larger power in drawing Korea, Taiwan, and Australia. Second is only Chinese nukes can get 4,000 more heads off the ground. Nothing else comes close to extinction. AirPods and earbuds in general won't cut it, especially for debaters with a penchant for volume. Speed only compounds this problem. If you think you'll debate online at any point, you should invest in a headset now. Some employers are attempting to transition work online, which could make it harder to find later. A few days ago, we experimented with conference call and condenser microphones. Conference call microphones were unlistenable. They pick up every background noise from across the room. Someone opened a bag of pretzels, rustled some papers, or pushed in a chair, we could hear it. Condenser mics faced a death by a thousand cuts. They picked up more background noise from a headset, crackled without a pop filter, and made an awful noise if you bumped into it. Direct Ethernet is not negotiable. Your gigabit internet might be nice, Ann Arbor certainly is. Your parents might pay for a $300 router, and you might sit in the same room. That's cool. Unfortunately, it performs and sounds worse than someone who pays for 20 megabits down and has a direct connection. The mechanics. As a student at the University of Michigan, I've transitioned to online classes. 9 a.m., I roll out of bed and take notes from this desk without seeing any of my classmates. It's new, dreary, and I'd probably be more upset about it if they didn't switch to pass-fail grading. To be clear, I liked online debate better than I liked online classes, whereas in a class I feel pulled to multitask, debate still draws my full attention. Here's what stays the same. 1. Prepping. Not gonna lie, we thought this would not work. It did work. Joe and I communicated via Gchat, which we often do in round anyway. Hardly felt different. 2. cross -ex. Worked well. Unfortunately, with a little delay, but otherwise without a problem. Three, rebuttals. Given a good microphone, they sounded pretty good. Here's what does change. For those debating at the online TOC, this is what you should pay attention to. One, the speech docs. They matter more. The audio may cut out, as it did in Jonah's 1 and C. Cooperate in the face of transnational challenges that have important implications. Next off, containment tension between China, Russia, and Japan over air dominance means that F 35s are necessary to combat the Su 35. Long 19, Japan is on. Next has the JSDF. Japan is under pressure to raise the expenditure. The Grand Navy, the Chinese Japan face because of Japan, Russia, to since Russia, Russia. The is a higher than fighter jets, a highly maneuverable superiority fighter regarded as the finest fourth generation fighter. Russia's older 20. Having something to reference is vital for other teams and the judges. Two, analytics. I open source during the year, but I don't flash analytics. PR, Jonah, and I use a macro that allows us to delete analytics in about 10 seconds during prep, and we think it's strategic to do so. Less true in an online debate format for the same reason. If audio cuts out, the analytics go with it. Three, evidence. I predict that the premium on evidence will just be higher. Four, speed. I know that I work for the big clarity lobby as a slower debater, but teams are going to have to slow down to ensure that they're flowable on this platform at least at the transitionary phase. Five, muting. Whoever's not talking needs to be muted, otherwise disruptions are bound to happen. That means that to speak, you have to unmute yourself, which is something we collectively struggled with. Six, no feedback. I'm an expressive judge. I raise my eyebrows, chuckle, and nod along. None of that can happen online. Everyone except the speakers must be muted, and often you're staring at a dock or your flow. Not the judge. There's no functional way to make eye contact directly with the judge in this case. For those thinking about the online TOC, know that online debate can work, but does so differently. If you can, you should arrange at least one practice round to make sure you get the mechanics down.